heard about this guy with them, you know. He was having a tent. That seamen, the old port services, where Hyatt is right now, that was where that was yeah. then. And I went to his office and I told him who I was. He told me well, it sounded very impressive, but add the to the scene about the music. So I had known Atwa and we were good friends. I went to him and I said, boss, I really need this book, but it didn't wrong. He said, well, you have it. Um, 78, the band didn't really have a leader. 79, Earl Rodney was the leader of the band in the tent. And by 1980, Mr. Mono asked me to take over the band. Mm -hmm. He told me to make my budget and I made a budget and I gave it to him and, well, I was there when he built that building and all that. I went away and bought the lights and all that kind of thing. And we are 81, kind of lose the pants mm -hmm. <laughs> and he decided to give it to him, give it up. Up come Spectacular. Yeah. Well, Spectacular was already a household name in Trinidad. Yeah, company. The company then, yeah. yeah. So it was an easy transition for me because I had no Frank. Today I call him Mr. Frank, but I didn't know him as a little baby. Yeah. <laughs> I was there for 12 years. And I thought we, we have brought a standard that maybe is unmatched. I was responsible for the band and all the music. Lennox was responsible for, for the program, and Frank was the man who run the road then. And the boss just signed the checks. <laughs> so did you have any say in, um, in, in what artists they put in the tent? Uh, one could have always made suggestions. Right. But this wasn't my baby. My baby was the band to make sure that the artist and them is happy because the organization had always dealt with the best. Mm -hmm. You know, we had Arrow there, we had, there, we had Beckett, which is from outside. We had Chuck, we had David Rowe, we had Tam, we had Black Star and Cindy, uh, the mighty Juke, Funny, Rio, and I could keep calling and calling them. Um, so we had a star-studded star um, lineup there. Yeah. I'm a joiner. And what work is my trade? Do you have a, a most memorable performance of Spectacular or Spectacular Day? Uh -huh. I boast in a kind of way. We never started a show late in Spectacular. Yeah, let us the same thing. <laughs> and the I used to be there from 7 o'clock and the show is 7.30. And when I reach there, I've already taken out my program for the night, so every musician, you have a folder and the music, and in the night you just turn it over. All in all, so I used to do all the music, um, and then I would sit with Lennox, and then we know who I did so far, we would look at it, how the real cell like, tenor is going, how the songs is going, and when I'm finished rehearsing the tent, and then up, baby, now. Yeah. Uh -huh. 